Hi students, this is Shayna, your teacher. I'm your teacher at EspressoEnglish.net and today I'm really happy to be helping you with three of the most challenging sounds in the English language, which are TH, THR, and TR. All right, let me just make sure our live stream is all set up. All right, we can get started. So, uh, you know, when it comes to pronunciation, there are some telltale signs that someone is a non-native English speaker. That means there are certain things that make it obvious if uh, English is your, not your native language. And one of those things is the TH sound. Because a lot of languages don't have this sound, so when you learn English, you need to learn a totally new sound. Okay, and a lot of English learners uh, don't have great pronunciation when it comes to TH or they substitute a different sound. But if you can master the TH sound, if you can pronounce TH like a native English speaker, then it will really help improve your pronunciation and reduce your accent. Okay, so today I'm going to help you with TH and we've got a lot of words to practice with. So the biggest trick for pronouncing TH is to put your tongue, uh, your tongue, between your teeth, okay? So it looks like this. Okay? Let me get a little closer to the camera so maybe you can see my mouth better. Can you see how my tongue is in between my teeth? All right, that's the trick to TH. And I know it feels funny to do this, especially if you don't have a TH sound in your native language, but this will help you pronounce the sound correctly. So let's practice with a few examples. First, we have the word think, okay? Watch my mouth as I say it. Think, think, all right? Think is a very common verb. It's used all the time in English. We very often say, I think, uh, and then give an opinion. So it's really important to say think and not think with an F or sink with an S, okay? Really try to get that TH sound, think. Another very, very common word that starts with the TH sound is thanks or thank you. And if we want to be polite, we say this all the time in English. Thanks for your help. Um, Thank you for calling. Uh, so really important to get a good TH sound at the beginning of thanks. Thanks. All right. We also have TH at the end of some words. A very common one is the preposition with. With. The same principle applies. Just at the end of the word, put your tongue in between your teeth. With. All right. I'm exaggerating a little bit just so you can see it, but as you speak faster and get more practice with this sound, then it will get faster, okay? Your tongue will be able to go in and out really quickly, with, 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 all right? And another uh, word that ends in TH is teeth, right? Referring to your teeth. This is plural, okay? The singular form is tooth. That also ends with a TH sound, so it's another good one to practice. So one, one tooth, and many teeth, okay? Teeth. Now remember, the first T is just a normal T, so nice and clean, t, t, and we end with teeth, teeth. All right, I hope you can see that the TH sound is the same in all these words, these four here at the top, and the secret is to get your tongue in between your teeth. So make sure to practice that, maybe even in front of a mirror to help you. So next, let's move on to something a little bit more difficult. We have THR, and that also happens in quite a few English words. One of the first ones you learned is probably the number three three, okay? It can be very challenging because we have the TH sound and then we have the R sound, which is also a little bit difficult, especially if R is pronounced 
slightly differently in your native language. So we already learned how to make TH with your tongue in between your teeth. And now I want to focus on the American English R. Okay, so the American English R, um, it's a very strong sound, very distinct. You can really hear it strongly. R. And when I do this, my tongue stays in the same position. It's kind of in the middle of my mouth. The one mistake to avoid with R is don't roll your R, okay? Rolling your R is doing something like this. Okay, I can't really do it that well. But in some languages, that's how the R is pronounced. And your tongue is uh, vibrating up and down or it hits the roof of your mouth. Don't do that in American English, okay? We say R. Er, okay, try to hold that sound and see if you can make it sound like mine. Er. Um, so to combine the two, we have three. So to make the three correctly, I start with my tongue between my teeth and then my tongue just moves back into the R position. Three, three. When you're trying to improve your pronunciation, it can be helpful to pronounce it slowly, like I'm doing right now, and then gradually speed it up, okay? So you might start like this. Three, 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 until you can get it nice and fast, all right? Um, and we have another, a number of other words with THR. We have the word throw throw, okay? One thing you want to be careful of is don't say tree or tro, okay? That's more like TR. You really want a nice clean TH sound that just transitions into the R sound. So let's practice. Throw, throw. We also have thrilled, thrilled. If you don't know what thrilled means, if you say, I'm thrilled, that means you're very happy and very excited, okay? If you win free tickets to an amusement park, you would say, oh, I'm thrilled that I have the opportunity to go to this park for free. So it also starts with THR. Thrilled, thrilled. Another word is thrive. If something is thriving, it means it is growing and being successful and just doing really well, okay? Plants will thrive if you give them sunlight and water, okay? Thrive, thrive. I hope you can pronounce this with me so that your THR will get really strong. And another extremely common word that uses THR is the word through. Okay, this is a preposition, and uh, it's a little bit strange because we have a silent G-H at the end. So this whole part, O-U-G-H, is just pronounced OO. So it's important to master the T-H-R at the beginning. Through. Through. And a little faster. Through. 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 Got it? You want to avoid mixing up through with true. Okay, do you hear the difference? Through, true. So let's move on to TR. When we have TR, it often sounds a little bit like CHR. It sounds like ch, ch, ch. Um, well, it's easier to, for me to show you in the word itself. So we have this word, tree, tree. Okay, see how that's different from three? Three, tree, three, tree. You can see that at the beginning of tree, my tongue is not between my teeth, okay? So for um, three, then my tongue is between my teeth, but for tree, it's not, all right? So that's the big difference between three and tree. We also have a vehicle called a truck truck. That's another good one for practicing your TR. Um, you might go on a trip. 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 Are you saying the word with me? I hope you're pronouncing it with me because I would feel silly doing it all by myself. All right. 
And we can also talk about a trend. Trend. Okay? Trend. And finally, as I mentioned before, this word, true. True. That's the opposite of false, right? We have true and false. Now, if you want an extra challenge, you can try. So this true is an adjective. Um, the noun form is truth. Okay, so it starts with T-R-U and then it ends with the same T-H sound like in teeth. So that's very difficult. Truth. Try to take it um, piece by piece. Truth. Truth. Okay? If you can get that word well, then I think you will be well on your way to pronouncing um, all of these sounds like a native English speaker. So, how to improve your pronunciation even further. Honestly, there is no tip or no, and no trick that I can give you except practice. Practice, 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 practice. Okay? Um, you can, you know, you can learn a few tips and tricks, but there is no substitute for just pure practice. And the good news is that nowadays with the internet, it's really easy to practice because you can get audio and video in English from many different sources. You can use my lessons, you can use podcasts, you can use news programs, um, there are anything on YouTube, and you can just practice repeating everything, right? Just listen to the speaker and then try to repeat it. That's a technique called shadowing and I really highly recommend it because I can see a big difference between students who practice pronunciation and shadowing regularly and students who don't do that. And the students who practice have much better pronunciation. They tend to speak much more clearly and have less of an accent, okay? So if you want to sound more like a native speaker, practice. Practice every day. If you want a system for practicing and some lessons that are just designed to help you improve your pronunciation, then check out my American English pronunciation course. That will teach you all of the sounds in English. So these were just a few, right? But the English language has many, many sounds. It has different vowels and consonants and combinations of letters that sound a little bit different, like the TR sounding like chur. Okay, and I teach you all that in my course. And there are also some lessons on connecting your words and helping you to say a sentence in the most natural way possible. Together with that course, you can also get another course of mine called Shadowing with Shana. And those lessons are just designed to help you listen and repeat. So I'll say a line and the text will be on the video, and then I pause so that you can repeat it. These courses are participatory. You need to participate, you need to practice, you need to do it yourself and not just watch, okay? So if you've been watching this video and you didn't uh, try it yourself, then I'd encourage you to watch it again, and this time try to pronounce everything with me. Oh, there's another TR word, try, try. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, these sounds are very common in English, and I really want to help you master them. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson, and I hope to see you inside my courses about pronunciation and shadowing with Shana. You can click on the link that I will put in the video and also in the video description to get more information about those courses. Bye for now. Keep practicing your pronunciation.